now uh, we are going to draw a four stroke SI engine working cycle a simple line diagram so we are drawing first cylinder and inside the cylinder the piston is slide so take a precaution that when we draw a piston leave a single stroke line gap between cylinder and piston now there is a passage for one is for intake of air fuel mixture and second is for exhaust gases now the wall in first stroke intake wall is open and exhaust wall remain close now to draw the crankshaft and connecting rod position first draw a small circle just at a center of a piston on bottom side then draw a center line horizontal center line and make a circle at least uh, equal to the diameter of cylinder drawn then draw a big circle at 45 degree and join a small and big circle so it will be a connecting rod then two lines towards center and make a table tennis bat section shape which will will be a, which will be a crankshaft and always remember the engine is always run in a clockwise direction now the top most position of a piston that is called tdc and similarly bottom most position called as a bdc SI engine having a spark plug so in first stroke spark plug remain inactive fresh air fuel mixture is always available at intake wall and as soon as it get open fresh air fuel mixture suck inside the cylinder in suction stroke so show the arrows that fuel is entering piston movement is from tdc to bdc and label there suction stroke other parts crankshaft then connecting rod cylinder piston exhaust wall intake or inlet wall spark plug now the second stroke the compression stroke during drawing this take a precaution that cylinder dimension must be same similar way a cylinder now drawing a piston draw at the same position single stroke line gap between cylinder and piston then exhaust gas passage passage for intake charge
intake valve and exhaust valve remain closed in a compression stroke then to draw connecting rod and crankshaft arrangement in the same way draw center line then horizontal center line make a circle at least equal to the diameter of cylinder and draw a big end now the position going to change for big end of crankshaft now the crank draw a simple table tennis bat section shape direction is always clockwise spark plug in a compression stroke again it remain inactive the top dead center piston top extreme position similarly piston extreme bottom position bdc bottom dead center then whatever be the charge and trap inside the cylinder at the end of suction get compressed so its density goes on increasing thus it compressed to high pressure and corresponding high temperature the part wise crankshaft connecting rod cylinder piston exhaust valve inlet valve spark plug now the piston movement piston moves from bdc to tdc in a compression stroke now the third stroke is a power also called as a expansion stroke again take a precaution that cylinder dimension must be same draw a piston with a gap of single stroke line so piston can slide inside the cylinder then passage for exhaust gases passage for intake charge in power stroke again both valve remain close so intake exhaust valve close small circle at a center of a piston now the same way construction for connecting rod and crankshaft again circle at least equal to the diameter of cylinder now the big end of connecting rod position again change just like a first stroke joining two circle it become a connecting rod then from crankshaft draw two lines towards center and make a table tennis bat section so it will become a crankshaft always give the direction of engine rotation that is a clockwise now spark plug in power stroke spark plug is active so top dead center tdc extreme bottom side bottom dead center spark plug is active so show some spark struck and when charge burn so during its expansion exert pressure on piston so show some arrows which showing that piston is moving downward 
stroke from TDC to BDC. Here we get a power, so called as a power stroke. Sometimes it is called as an expansion stroke. Other labeling, crankshaft. Connecting rod. Then cylinder. Piston. Spark plug which is active in power stroke. Exhaust wall remain closed. Inlet wall. This is also remain close. Now the last stroke, exhaust stroke. Same way, drawing a construction for cylinder and piston. Passage for exhaust gases. Passage for intake charge. Draw a piston. There must be a gap but gap must be a single stroke line gap now spark plug again during exhaust stroke it remain inactive construction for connecting rod and crankshaft so drawing a circle Again for big end of connecting rod we are shifting a position just like a second compression stroke joining two circle tangentially it become a connecting rod then two lines towards center and drawing a table tennis bat shape it will be our crankshaft. Then engine direction clockwise. Extreme top position of piston TDC, extreme bottom position of piston BDC, exhaust wall during exhaust stroke it remain open so show the position in open, inlet wall remain close and show some arrows that uh, showing gases are moving out. So exhaust gases moving out from exhaust passage. Level wise crankshaft. Then connecting rod. Cylinder. piston exhaust wall which remain opens spark plug inlet wall in this way we Now the direction of piston movement stroke that is exhaust stroke it is from BDC to TDC. Thus the four strokes of SI engines. Thank you. Thank you for watching. This is uh, Professor Rahul Bhavne.